Go to My PC is a fast, easy, and secure remote access solution enabling professionals to instantly access their work computers from anywhere. Remote into your office Mac or PC within seconds and instantly access all of your files, programs, and applications to stay fully connected and productive even when you're away from the office. Whether you're a remote employee, a company leader, or an IT professional looking to enable and support yourself or your colleagues to work from home, GoToMyPC provides all organizations with ease, speed, and security, empowering professionals to access their work computers and maintain day-to-day -day operations from anywhere. Before we dive into the high-level overview and demonstration, there are a few definitions to keep in mind as you're getting started with GoToMyPC. We're going to cover administrators versus users and host computers versus client computers. Number one, administrator versus user. An administrator is oftentimes someone in the IT department who is enabling access for multiple people within your organization. The administrator is responsible for setting up the GoToMyPC account and ensuring end users are able to access their work computers from anywhere. A user is the individual who will be remotely accessing his or her work computer. For companies looking to enable their employees to work from home, all employees who will need remote access are considered users. Keep in mind that administrators and users can also be the same person, particularly in smaller companies where working professionals wear lots of hats. Host Computer versus Client Computer the host computer is the Mac or PC you will want to access from a remote location. In a work from home scenario, the host computer is the one that's located at work. You will install the GoToMyPC software on the host computer. The client computer is the computer you will use to access your host computer. In a work from home scenario, the client computer is the one that's located at home. Keep in mind that the client computer can be any desktop, laptop, tablet, or mobile device. GoToMyPC software does not need to be installed on the client computer. Okay, let's dive into the product. To access GoToMyPC, visit GoToMyPC.com and click Login at the top right corner of the home page. Type in your email address and the password you created when you took out a GoToMyPC trial. Once you log in, you'll see the GoToMyPC Administration Center. Depending on your specific product, GoToMyPC Corporate or GoToMyPC Pro, this dashboard may look slightly different. With GoToMyPC Pro, you could manage users and PCs as well as generate usage reports. GoToMyPC Corporate allows all Pro functionality plus the ability to manage groups. We're currently looking at the administration center of a corporate account. With GoToMyPC Corporate's plan, you can manage groups. This functionality allows you to create user groups and subgroups, as well as set GoToMyPC feature access and security levels on them individually. With Manage Groups, you can organize users by department, job function, or any other organizational category. In the Manage Groups link in the left navigation bar, you can see any groups you may have created. To create a group, Click the Add Group link and enter the name for the group you wish to create. By clicking Add Group, the group will be created and can be seen in the Group Administration page. You can then add Subgroup by clicking the arrow to the left of the parent group and click the Add Subgroup link. Within each group, you can also assign managers, set a limit on the number of computers or subgroups that can be enabled, set requirements for GoToMyPC passwords, establish requirements for host access codes, establish secondary authentication requirements, and much more. If you require two-step verification, you can configure that to be applicable to groups. Two-step verification requires users to authenticate via a text message when logging into their GoToMyPC account. Under the Group Settings tab, select Extended Authentication. In this tab, you can choose whether to force, disable, or let the users elect to use two-step verification. 
The Manage Managers page gives you the ability to change manager status, move managers between groups, as well as access a manager's account and view its user information. Sign up managers by clicking the Sign up Managers link in the left navigation bar and entering in their email addresses. You can also assign the manager role to groups during this process. Manage Managers is a feature only available to go to My PC Corporate customers. Both Pro and Corporate accounts can manage PCs. Manage PCs enables you to search for computers and view Mac and PC details, add or remove computers, and control authorization of access to specific host or client machines. To view a user's PC details, click the Manage PCs link in the left navigation bar. Search for and click on the name of the PC that you would like to view. You will then be able to see the PC's information, including the IP address and the email account of the user accessing that PC. In addition, both pro and corporate accounts include the ability to generate reports. Generate Reports enables you to compile and view various usage reports to manage activity. You can create reports in both pro and corporate accounts. In the Report drop-down menu, select the report that you wish to generate. Select the date range and report format, and your report will load in a new window. Next, the Manage Users area of the Administration Center is the area that allows you to sign up new users, view a user's account status and the number of enabled computers, suspend or delete a user's account, and access a user's account record. The sign-on process is consistent for both pro and corporate accounts. Let's now go through the process of signing up users and beginning a remote access session. To set up users, you first need to grant your users access. To do so, you must send your users an invitation to go to My PC via the Administration Center. First, log in using your admin credentials on gotomypc.com. Then, sign into the Administration Center. Click the Manage Users link in the left navigation menu. Next, Click the Sign Up Users link in the left navigation menu. Enter the email addresses of the new users to invite. Keep in mind that GoToMyPC does not support bulk imports of user lists. User lists must be copied and pasted into the invite box. Select the group to which you want to add the users and click Continue. You can personalize the subject and message as needed. When ready, click Notify Users to send the invite. Next, you're going to want to set up a host computer that you can access remotely. To do this, go to My PC software will need to be downloaded and installed on the computer that you would like your employees to remotely access. Keep in mind, only users have the Add a Computer button. Therefore, if a manager wants to add a computer, they must log in with their own user account to do so. There are two options for downloading and installing the software. Option A allows administrators to silently install the software, whereas Option B allows users to install the software. Please note, the GoToMyPC host installer is only available for PCs, for Option A. Option A, push the GoToMyPC software to employees' host computers. When used in conjunction with a simple login script or remote monitoring and management tool, GoToMyPC can be silently installed on the host computer. We recommend following the instructions outlined in the article How Do I Use the Host Installer on our support page. This guide walks through the steps of using the host installer as well as additional command line parameters you will need to be successful in the installation. Option B allow users to install software on their own host computer. Users must have admin privilege that allows them to download and install software directly onto their workstations. Log in to go to My PC on your host computer. Next, click Add this computer at the bottom of the screen. Now click the Install Go to My PC button 
to install GoToMyPC on your computer. Finally, follow the step-by-step -step installation process and register your device. Registering the computer. Once GoToMyPC software is downloaded and installed on a host machine, the user needs to finalize the installation by registering the computer and creating an access code. Please note the user must be sitting in front of the host computer to perform this step. Choose a computer nickname. This is the name that will appear in GoToMyPC. Next, create an access code for this host computer. The access code must be at least 8 characters long and include letters and numbers. Please note, you must remember your access code. This will be required to remotely access your host computer. Once the host computer is set up, users can remote control the computer, accessing their files and applications just as if they were sitting in front of it. At this point, I'm going to perform a test remote connection from another computer at the office. This way, I can make sure everything is working properly while I still have physical access to the host computer, should I run into any error or need to reinstall. To start my remote control session, I will navigate to gotomypc.com. Click Login in the top right corner. Log in using your GoToMyPC email address and account password. If prompted, choose the account you want to access and click Go. This only applies if you have multiple GoToMyPC accounts associated with one email address. Locate the desired computer and select Connect. Depending on your browser, select Run, Always, Allow, or Trust to download the GoToMyPC viewer. When prompted, enter your access code for that host computer and select OK. The viewer window will launch and you have officially connected. In addition to secure remote access, GoToMyPC also has file transfer, remote print, keyboard locking, screen blanking, remote sound, mobile access, two-factor authentication, multi-monitor support, desktop sharing, and more. We'll give a quick high-level overview of some of these features next, but for a deeper dive, we encourage you to check out our additional videos located at GoToMyPC's YouTube channel. Adjusting the viewer window. When connecting to your computer, GoToMyPC will automatically launch the viewer optimized for the type of computer you are accessing, whether it is Mac or PC. At the top of the viewer window, you can access the features of the GoToMyPC viewer. The view menu contains various options to adjust how the host computer screen is displayed. If your screen appears fuzzy, or icons and text are too small to interact with, you may adjust the screen size by selecting the view menu. If you don't see the entire screen, you can move your cursor to the side, bottom, or top of the viewer window to scroll and see anything that might not be visible. You may also select any of the zoom percentages to find the size that works best for you. File transfer. File transfer enables GoToMyPC users to quickly and easily move files between a host and client computer. You can also transfer files between computers by simply dragging and dropping during a remote session. From the viewer menu bar, click Tools and then Transfer or Sync Files. Or you can click the File Transfer shortcut in the upper right hand corner of the viewer window. The File Transfer and Sync window opens. The files from your remote host computer are displayed on the left pane, and the files from your local client computer, or the computer I'm sitting at right now, are displayed on the right. Open the folder where you want to store the transferred files. 
Select the file or folder you wish to move and click the transfer button. Remote sound. PC users have the option to hear alerts, music, and other sounds from their remote computer while in session. Volume and muting can be controlled by the sound button and volume meter in the upper right corner of the viewer window. To change sound preferences, select File in the viewer window, then select Preferences. Select the Sound tab. From the Sound tab, you can modify your sound settings as desired and click OK to finalize them. Multi-Monitor Support Go to My PC supports multiple monitors connected to a single Mac or Windows PC. You can choose which monitors to access while in session. To move to another monitor, select the arrow button located on either side of the Go to My PC viewer. You can also select the Windows key on your keyboard along with the left or right arrow keys to switch between monitors, if enabled in the viewer preferences. To view all monitors, hold the Shift key and select Scale to Fit from the View drop-down menu. Screen Blanking Screen blanking blacks out the host screen so that no one can see what you are working on. The only thing visible is your mouse pointer. It is highly recommended that you use this feature, especially if you do any confidential work. To enable screen blanking for Windows host computers, Right-click the Go to My PC icon in the system tray of the host computer. Select Preferences, then move to the Security tab. Check the option for Blank Out Screen While Connected and select OK. Keyboard Locking Keyboard locking prevents others from using your host mouse or keyboard while you are remotely connected. If you are inputting opposite keys, Example, the caps lock is on the host computer when it's disabled on your client keyboard, you should lock your host keyboard and mouse. You can enable this feature from your host computer by right-clicking the Go to My PC system tray icon, usually located in the lower right corner of your screen near the clock, and selecting Preferences, then Security, then Lock Host Keyboard and Mouse. Remote Print the last feature we'll cover today is Remote Print. Both Mac and PC users can use the printer connected to their remote computer. There are two ways to use Remote Print. Go to My PC Printer. While in a remote session, simply select the Go to My PC Printer option from the Print window and print as you normally would. Without doing anything else, your file will print to your local computer's default printer. Manually enable a local printer. Printing with the Go to My PC printer is recommended for most jobs, but if the local computer is networked with several printers, you may want to manually enable a specific printer. This process requires that you first set up your local printer on the remote computer while in a remote session. You can learn more about remote printing on our global customer support site. We hope this demonstration gave you a high-level overview of the powerful feature functionality in GoToMyPC. If you would like to learn more, please visit support.logmeinink.com forward slash GoToMyPC for additional resources.